guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch once again here on a beautiful day. Unfortunately, I got a dirty job ahead of me. Yep, the darned uh, well that feeds our hydrant uh, for the garage, and more importantly, it feeds a hydrant for the barn for the animals. That hydrant is. Uh, <laughs> hang on, I'm gonna get my grandkids out of the way here. Uh, is is the the pump has to be serviced. And the difficulty with that is that we get this water from a dug well. You can see here, Kevin is showing you a picture of the, the dug well. It's 50 feet deep. I dug this well and put those tiles in. That was a heck of a job, but uh, I was a lot younger then, too. And down at the bottom of this well, 45 feet down, we have a submersible pump on a standard, uh, I think it's a one-inch uh, water pipe, uh, plastic PVC pipe, coming up to a pitless adapter. Now, if you have not heard the term pitless adapter, all of this may, makes no sense to you. But if you have, maybe it will make sense to you. And again, if you haven't, now you will know what's in your well. If you have, you live in the country, and your water comes from a well, you have a pitless adapter. You didn't even know that, did you? <laughs> but anyway, in order to get the pump out and get all this working properly, I have to pull the submersible pump pump out. How do you do that? Well, what you have to do is pull, break away, and pull apart that pitless adapter. Now, it's designed to do that. The pitless adapter is designed to do that. When Kevin shows you the picture, you'll see that part of the pitless adapter is attached to the well, firmly attached to the well. On the outside of the well wall, there's a pipe that goes to the hydrants. That's the water flow. On the inside, there's a triangular or sloping shaped section into which another piece drops. I'm going to show you in a minute. It'd be better if I just show you. So here I'm going to show you how you pull your submersible pump. Okay? All right. What you need, very simply, is a piece of pipe. And it has to be one inch pipe. And you see what I've done? I put a T on the top like this. Simplest thing in the world. Piece of one inch pipe, six feet long. And on the top there's a T. And I put a couple of handles on there for a little extra leverage. Just that simple. It's all you need to pull your pitless adapter. So next time your pump has a problem, don't waste your money and call a pump guy. Make one of these. $20. You make one of these. On the bottom, it has a good clean thread, one inch thread on the bottom. And keep it clean. Keep that covered up with a plastic cap or tape to keep that nice and clean. And it's the simplest thing in the world. When you get your well <coughs> uncovered, take your pitless adapter puller. I guess we can call it that, eh, Ken? Pitless adapter puller. And you slowly lower it down. And you'll be able to see on top of the pitless adapter, there's a threaded hole. Gosh, it has to be a one inch threaded hole. Kevin will show you the picture again. Now here's where you have to be a little bit careful. You've got to get that thread on your pitless adapter puller that you made to fit into the thread on the pitless adapter. Just be a little bit careful and you'll feel it start to grab. There it is. I got it into the thread. So now you turn this in slowly. You don't want to hurt the pitless. You don't want to hurt the threads. Turn it in slowly and after just a few turns it'll grab. That's it. It's firm. Now the rest is easy. I need some I need some help. And we're just gonna pull this up. Now if your pitless adapter's been out recently, it might pull up very, very easily. If it's been down there for a long time, it might be jammed. If it's jammed, then what you can do is get a sledge, a small sledge, and tap this like so. And it'll break it free, hopefully. Move it around a little bit, not too much. The pitless adapter is made of brass, it can break. So I'll just pull it a little bit like that, tap it, and with a little bit of help, that'll lift out of there. Let me show you. Let me get some help first. Okay, here we are. I got some help. This is my son, Ryan. Yeah, he looks just like me. <laughs> right, you can see the, you see the resemblance, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, I got Ryan over here for a simple reason. He can lift 300 pounds over his head. <laughs> so this will work, yeah. Okay, so now, you got it in there firmly, and you give it a couple of times to break it free. Okay. Got it. Pull on it. Okay. Pull it a little bit. Okay. Okay, jerk. There you go. It's free, just that easy. All right, pull her up, pull her up, right? Up she goes. Watch this cable here. Wire. Up she goes like this. Keep going. Up, up. Okay. Oh, right there. Set it back down on the pipe there. Whew. Okay. There's the inside of the pitless adapter with the O-ring that makes the seal. You see how that's triangular shape? And that slides down into the well part of the pitless adapter. So we got it out of there, right? So we just pull it up another foot or two, and you see the clamps? There's the plastic pipe for the pump. Just that easy. So we'll set it right there, okay? Because I gotta loosen those clamps. 
take the pipe off, right? just connect these wires, and that pump's out. Just that simple. That's how simple it is to pull your submersible pump out of your well. Now, this well is only 50 feet deep. The pipe is only 40 feet long. The, the pump weighs about 25 pounds. It's not too bad. The well that we use for our house is 160 feet. <laughs> Yeah. So it's a little bit different. It's a lot heavier, and you got to have some way of getting that pipe out without kinking it if you can. But it, it's easy. You pull it over a field with a nice one. Anyway, that's how you do it, guys. That's easy. How you pull a pitless, uh, uh, a submersible pump out. Just that easy. Thanks, right? Good job. No problem. All right. See you guys. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Mm -hmm.